This is the famous Avenue of the Dead at Teotihuacan outside Mexico City. It was built supposedly by the Toltec civilization maybe 2,000 years ago and the famous Aztecs passed by this area as they were looking for their new homeland which is present-day Mexico City but was called Tenochtitlan which means the place or the land of prophecy or the place or land of the prophets. So it's actually likely that this little pyramid which was built in front of the temple of Quetzalcoatl or the plumed serpent was done so on purpose to hide the or partially isolate the temple of Quetzalcoatl in behind because it's likely that it in fact was the most sacred place at Teotihuacan and could possibly be the oldest. The construction technique used at the temple of Quetzalcoatl is very different than the later works that we see, these little pyramidal structures that you see there. Lots of mortar used in construction. So as you can see, this temple structure was built right in front of the actual temple of Quetzalcoatl that has all of this not only amazing carving, but also possibly evidence of megalithic works. So as you can see, the staircase was made of quite homogeneous material. It looks like it all came from the same quarry. There was no mortar used in that lower section of intact staircase. Then all the material above is very inferior. And again, it's likely that the the stone on stone contact aspects were original. Something devastating happened to the structure. And then the Toltec rebuilt in the area incorporating the ancient parts. And that's what we find in Peru, Bolivia, Egypt, Lebanon, any place where there's an ancient, ancient site where there are aspects of megalithic construction. So what's interesting about the Temple of the Moon, aside from the fact that it's huge and was a major uh, engineering and architectural feat by the Toltec people, possibly 2,000 or more years ago, is you'll notice the difference in construction technique. You see those very nice cube-like blocks for the stairway. The stairway has, of course, been reconstructed, but they are very different than the form of construction of the pyramid itself, which is quite inferior, utilizing a lot of mortar. And the mortar they made is actually volcanic ash. And I believe they added lime to it to make it hard. And then we have the Temple of the Sun, which is much, much bigger. Massive scale, the footprint, several acres. aspect about uh, Teotihuacan is that it seems to have been designed on purpose to have an acoustic quality to it. Uh, and that is why you have the proportions of these big, but especially these little pyramids. If you stand on this platform coming up here and clap your hands, there's an echo. And this was likely where the great orator would stand in order to make pronouncements to the people who could have been sitting in on the staircases and the different levels of these mini pyramidal structures here. 
Two, two, one.